If you followed us for a while, you've seen that we love doing a lot of outdoor adventures with our ferrets. If you haven't been following us, hi and welcome. I just wanted to go over a couple of dangers you may face when taking your ferret outdoors on adventures. Make sure to stay to the end of the video for a safety concern that might surprise you. Number one, dogs and cats. While your pets at home may get along with our fuzzies, as you can see our cat Loki trying to play with our boys, I would never allow them to interact with someone else's pets. I would be careful with both dogs and cats, both off leash and on leash. You just never know how they will react. Also, these are our dogs. Number two, wildlife. Make sure you know what animals inhabit the area. Things like snakes and birds of prey like eagles and hawks can easily kill your ferret. Number three, insects. While most insects can be harmless, there are some that can be deadly to your ferret or even yourself. Black widows and brown recluse spiders are venomous for instance. So again, know what's in your area and where they like to hide. Number four, other ferrets. While it's unlikely that you will encounter someone else on a venture with their ferrets, it's not entirely impossible. We are seeing more and more people taking their fuzzies on adventures. While your ferrets may get along with one another, they may not with another ferret. It's also good to note that ferrets can catch illnesses from one another, like epizootic ECE, more commonly known as green slime disease, because of the neon green diarrhea it produces. Number five, fleas, ticks, distemper, and other parasites. This is one of the reasons we personally choose to vaccinate our ferrets, as well as provide them a monthly preventative against fleas, ticks, and heartworm. Number six, heat. Heat is another danger to ferrets. Ferrets can overheat very quickly and should not be out in overly hot or humid weather. Anything over 85 degrees Fahrenheit is extremely dangerous for ferrets, and they really should be kept in temperatures below 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to pay attention to more than just the ambient outside temperature. If your ferret is adventuring in a backpack of some sorts, the temperature inside the backpack can be much hotter than the ambient temperature outdoors. This is one of the reasons we personally don't like the bubble style backpacks and prefer those with lots of ventilation. Number seven, the danger that might surprise you is humans. Yes, humans. There are a couple of reasons I include humans. We've been adventuring with our ferrets for seven years now and anytime we take them anywhere, they're guaranteed to draw a crowd. It's important to be cautious when allowing other humans to interact with your ferrets. They may dislike ferrets and wish to cause them harm. And even the friendliest of ferrets always has the potential to bite someone, which is one of the reasons we make sure our ferrets are always up to date on the rabies vaccines in case this happens. And finally, ferrets can actually catch some human illnesses, such as human influenza or the flu, as well as possibly the new common sickness going around. Letting other people handle or pet your ferret can easily transfer an illness to them. Am I saying not to ever allow people to pet your ferret? No. We have ourselves, but are always cautious. We have asked people if they were sick prior to letting them pet them, and have asked people to use hand sanitizer that we carry with us prior to petting them. We are not wanting to discourage you from adventuring with your ferrets, as we obviously really believe it can enrich their lives. We just want you to be careful when having fun.